Next, we analyze the probability of getting a seven or getting a four on one of the dice when we roll two dice, okay? Probability of seven or a probability of four on either the first or the second dice or both. Now, you should think through that yourself, but we want to uh, start with a picture of the sample space. And there's your standard picture of the sample space for rolling two dice. Now, uh, four on one, probability of four or one on one die or a total of seven. We can go through the whole space and determine whether each of the 36 possibilities fills, fulfills one of these conditions or the other. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, uh, one and one gives us two, but that's not seven, and neither of the dice is a four. So one and two, well, that's a three, it's not a seven, neither die is a four. Uh, one, uh, three gives us four, and that could be a little confusing. We see the four and we think we got four, but it's four on one of the dice, and uh, we have a one and a three. We don't have four on either die, and we don't have a total of seven. Now, one and four, yeah, we got a four on this die, so we're going to check this one. Uh, one and five, no. One and six, well, yeah, that's a seven. We're going to count that. So in this row, we've got two outcomes that fit the criterion. Okay? Now, now uh, if we have two on the first die, uh, if we get a one, two, or three on the second die, we don't get a seven, and we certainly haven't gotten a four. But if we get here, <coughs> there's our four. So that one counts, and uh, this one counts because it's a seven. Uh, but this one doesn't for reasons that you can easily see. Well, you should go through the rest of the space yourself and uh, figure out how many there are before I go on, but I'm going to go on. So you should have paused, but anyhow. Uh, we get three in the first die. Uh, well, if we get four in the second die, we get a seven, so that's going to count. And of course, we got a four, but it only counts once, even though it fulfills both criteria. And then uh, the three and five, three and six don't give us seven. There's not a four. Okay. Now this row, well, the whole row is going to work because there's a four in this die. In this row, uh, well, the seven counts, and uh, this counts. Okay. So five two counts because it gives us seven. Five four counts because we've got a four on one of the dice. Similarly, in this row, uh, the six one counts because it gives us a seven. The six four counts because we got a four. We see that the fours occur in this column and this row. Now, sevens occur on this diagonal, and there are two places where we have both, where the two sets intersect. Think of the red outline set as being one set. Think of this as being another. So we have kind of two Venn diagrams, and the intersection contains two outcomes. Okay, well, by counting, just by counting, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen outcomes fit our criteria. So just by checking every possibility, we get this. But if we use the rule, the probability of four and one, or a total of seven, equals the probability of four and one, plus probability of seven total, minus the probability of getting four on one and seven total. Okay? Well, that's the probability of getting four on one of the dice. It's 11 out of 36. You might think it's 12 out of 36 because the first die could be uh, a 4 and there are six possibilities for the second. The second die could be a 4 and there are six possibilities for the first. That should make 12. But one of those possibilities, uh, the 8 here that we get here, is a result of a 4 from both. So we see that uh, even within this set of uh, results, where we have a four on one die or the other, there's kind of an intersection there, and we have to subtract that one from the 12 that we would ordinarily get uh, to get the 11 outcomes that give us, uh, for which we have a four on one die or another. So 
Again, if we just count these, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't count that one because we already did 10, 11. 11 out of 36. Probability seven total, well, very clearly there are just six of those. Uh, and then we subtract the probability of a four on one and a seven total. Now, where's that? Well, here we got a four on one die and a total of seven. Here we've got a four on the other die and a total of seven. So we got to subtract those two uh, outcomes. So the probability uh, of that is two out of 36. So when we add that up, we get 11 and 6 minus 2. That gives us 17 minus 2, 15 out of 36. And there is our probability. And it agrees with the probability we got when we checked every possibility. We can note the color coding. Uh, the pinkish red, 11 out of 36, corresponds to the uh, outcomes that we've outlined in the pinkish red and uh, the 6 out of 36 for the total of 7 to the uh, blue up here and the 2 out of 36 uh, I've circled those outcomes in green so we can easily see where they are on the depiction of the sample space.